All right, here we go. Mr. Longo here, and I'm about to show you how to construct a midpoint with a compass. So before you even say, well, why can't I just use a ruler? Well, because the ruler's a boring way to do it. That's the easy way. We gotta do things the fun way once in a while. So back before we had rulers and stuff that would actually measure certain lengths, um, they would use a compass and some sort of a straight edge. So a compass can be used as a measuring device, and we could um, find the middle of this segment with a compass no problem. Um, but what you need to do is pretend that it does not have those little numbers on here that will actually measure. It says that this is measuring in inches. We're not going to cheat and use the compass as a ruler. So what you need to do is you need to set your compass so it's opening up a little bit more than half the length of this segment. So you wouldn't want to be something close like this. So you want to find some place that's approximately half and just go a little bit more. So this right here is going to work fine. Um, now this is a two-step process um, to find your arc. So what you do is you need to take your non-pencil side and put it on one of the ends here. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this, but really what you want to do is you just make an arc by spinning it gently, nice and light. So you've gone to the other half of the segment. And then what you're going to do is you need to do it again. So you're going to place this end on the other end point, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to lightly construct another arc till they intersect. Okay, so you just found where the two arcs intersect. And if it helps you, you can create a little dot. Now, I said you do not need a ruler to do this, but you will need a straight edge of some sort. So if you have a ruler, then you're going to need to line this up when you are connecting the segment and the point you just created. But you're not going to measure it. You're just using it as a straight edge. To prove it to you, I'll just use a straight piece of cardboard. Um, so you want to make sure if you're not using something that you can see through, with lines, you want to make sure that you have a right angle. So um, what you're going to do is actually line it up so it's making a right angle. And you're going to line it up to the intersection of those two arcs you created. And now you're just going to draw a little line. And that line is going to intersect that segment right at the midpoint. So you've just cut that segment in half. Now, like I said, there are a couple of other ways you can do it. Um, so if you didn't have something with a um, rectangular or 90 degree corner or something like that, what you would need to do is you would actually still do it the same way, except for you would make your arc much bigger. So it was going to be on more than half of both sides. So we would create this one, and then you would go back to the other side, and you would continue that same arc and then you would have created two points, and then you would just take your straight edge and connect both points, and you'll still see that we're going to go straight through that same point. So now you didn't even need. A right angle all you did was connect those two points so again a couple of ways to do it but what you basically did just there is created a midpoint of a segment without measuring how long it was and dividing it by two so that's it that's how you do it this is long going I'm out see you bye